today I wanted to speak specifically about Christianity and Dawah to Christians. But this isn't just about Dawah, this is about us as well. And understanding the correct understanding of our belief as well. Now, does anyone know um, the hadith of Jibreel, alayhi salam, where uh, Jibreel, alayhi salam, came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and asked him, what is Islam? And he replied, the five pillars. And he said, what is Iman? He replied, belief in Allah, belief in the angels, belief in the book, in the revealed books, belief in, in, the, in the prophets and messengers which were sent, belief in judgment day, and belief, belief in the divine decree of Allah. So these are the six main articles of faith. Now, if I have the wrong concept of Allah, for instance, like the Christians, they say that Isa is Allah. So they have a problem with the, the, first, the first part of Iman, which is belief in Allah. Yeah? They also have a problem with the other part, which is belief in the prophets, because they have a, a, a misunderstanding of prophets as well. Because they believe that a prophet is also Allah. Okay? If, for instance, I believe that angels, you know, are children with wings, then I, I also have a problem with my belief. Is that correct? Yeah? Today I want to specifically speak about the belief in the books, belief in the revealed books. Because this is one which I feel is often misunderstood. And this is also one which will help you, once you understand the correct concepts of this and understanding, which I'm sure most of you have already, then it will also help you in conveying the message to the Christians as well. Within the Qur'an, it mentions different revelations which were revealed from Allah to His prophets, sorry, His messengers. So we have uh, somebody mentioned the Suhuf, Ibrahim. This was a revelation which was revealed from Allah to Ibrahim. We also, another brother mentioned the Torah, which is, I mentioned in the Quran as well, which is a revelation which was sent from Allah to Prophet Musa salam. We also have the Zabur, which is a direct wahi and revelation from Allah to Dawood salam. We also have the Injil, which is a direct wahi, a direct revelation from Allah to uh, Isa salam. And the Quran, which is obviously the final revelation sent to the Prophet peace be upon him. So this is very clear in Islam. These are the five which are mentioned in the Quran. And these are direct revelation from Allah to the, pro the, the messengers. This is not uh, authored by the messengers. This is not authored by the companions of the messengers. Or it's not authored by scholars or scribes. This is direct revelation from Allah to the messengers. Is that clear? Yeah. Now... Where the misunderstanding often comes is, is when, when we see in the translation, uh, in every uh, English translation of the Qur'an, we, we see that Zabur is translated to Psalms. And Injil is translated to Gospel. Now this is not correct. This is not correct. And I'm going to explain why uh, the, the, the Torah... The Torah in the contemporary Bible is not the Torah which is mentioned in the Quran, which is a direct revelation to Musa, and why the uh, the Psalms is not the Zabur, and why the the uh, Gospel or the Gospels is not the Injil. So, the first one uh, regarding the Suhuf of Ibrahim, alayhi salam. Now, all Jews, Christians, and Muslims agree that. Ibrahim was give, given a uh, revelation, but we no longer have it. So everyone agrees that this revelation has been lost and we no longer have access to this revelation. Now in terms of the Torah, from the uh, Jewish and the Christian perspective, they believe that they have something today, which they do have something today, called the Torah. Okay? Now, from the Muslim perspective, we believe that the Torah has been lost. And I'm going to explain why the Torah in, in today's Bible is not the Torah. Now, firstly, the claim from the Jews and the Christians is that the Torah today is authored by Musa and other scribes. 
Now, is this what we believe in from a Muslim perspective? Do we believe that the Torah is authored by Musa and other scribes? No. no. So, the first point is that the Torah today does not claim to be the Torah that we believe in. It doesn't have this claim. The other point is that the language of the Torah today is not in the language of Musa a.s. Now, the oldest scriptures we have of today's Torah actually date to... Sorry, just one moment. They're actually in the language of Hebrew. Now, Musa a.s. did not speak the language of Hebrew. Hebrew was a much later language which came uh, after Musa a.s. And we know that Musa a.s. was actually raised in the house of Pharaoh. And in fact, the name Musa comes from the heretic language of Pharaoh. And it means the, the baby taken out of the water. And certainly the Hebrew which is used today, the modern Hebrew, was a much uh, later language. Allah revealed in the language of the people. Now we do not accept an English translation of the Qur'an as the Qur'an, do we? No. We don't accept this as the wahi from Allah. Yeah? Now the, the, the translation will have meaning and understanding, but we don't accept it as the revelation, the wahi from Allah. Moving on to the Zabur. Now the Zabur, as I mentioned before and as you know, is a direct wahi from Allah to uh, Dawood This is the direct revelation from Allah to Dawood. Now, today the Zabur is actually commonly mistaken to be the Psalms. Okay? Now the Psalms, which we have today, is a collection of 150 poems within the Old Testament by various different people, okay? Now, some of the Christian scholars claim that 73 of them are authored by Dawood, uh, 12 of them are authored by someone called Asaf, 50 of them by someone called Kura, and many of them are actually anonymous writings. Now, if I ask you now, is this, from what I've told you of the Psalms, is this the Zabur? No. There's a clear... A difference between the Zabur, which is a direct revelation from Allah to Dawood than what is called the Psalms today, which is a collection of different writings by different human beings. Okay, so this is also the main reason why we can't accept the Psalms to be the Zabur. So we should we should be very careful when we're translating these words uh, Zabur to Psalms. This is this is not the correct way, and this can actually be very confusing even in the Dawah. Now, moving on to the, the fourth uh, scripture which is mentioned in the Qur'an, which is the Injil. Now the Injil, according to the Qur'an, is a direct wahi to Isa alayhi salam. Now this is a direct revelation which was given uh, to Prophet Isa alayhi salam. And what they have today, the Christians, is a collection of various different writings about which were written after Isa was raised up to Allah about Isa So these writings which they have, which are in the New Testament, are openly written and authored after Isa was raised up to Allah by different people. Now, is this the Injil? You know, when, I, when I've explained to you that the Injil is a direct wahi uh, to Isa the New Testament which contains these documents, which are writings by different human beings after Isa was raised to Allah, is this the Injil? No. This does not claim to be the wahi from Allah to Isa So So this is, this is another very important point when we're explaining uh, to Christians what we believe. Now, many of the Christian scholars even admit that Isa salam, did not speak Greek. Uh, many scholars actually say that he spoke Aramaic and Hebrew. So, it's not even in the language of Isa salam. Now, when we look at the dates of the scriptures of uh, the New Testament, again, the dates are, that all the Christian scholars admit that these were scriptures which were authored after the time of Isa salam, about Isa. So, the biographies of Isa salam, rather than uh, it claiming to be a wahi from Allah. Now again, this has not been orally preserved. 
The New Testament has not been orally preserved. No one has memorized it. No, it's not been uh, preserved through uh, memorization. It's not been passed down in this way. The only form of uh, preservation they have, which I would say is a lack of preservation, is through, through writings. Now, the oldest uh, scripture we have is actually a small fragment of the New Testament, and it dates to 140 CE, so over 100 years after Isa Islam was raised uh, to Allah, we have the oldest parchment of a scripture. Okay, And this is actually in the John Rylands Library in Manchester, so if you ever get in my hometown, if you ever get a chance to go, you can go and see this scripture. I also have some small booklets at the back. You can take some uh, on your way out. Uh, this is Jesus and Injil. This is a small Dawa booklet which explains all these points uh, to the Christians. And this is, a, actually, this is actually the actual size, actually, um, of the, the oldest uh, scripture of the New Testament. And again, it dates to... Uh, so over a hundred years after Isa alayhi salam. So it's not, it's not been preserved uh, in, a, in a written text as well. Now the oldest scriptures we have, uh, that's just the oldest scripture of, um, of John. The Gospels do not claim to be the wahi from Allah. Now this is a huge misconception that many Muslims have. And this actually held me back from becoming a Muslim. In fact, when I was a Christian, I left Christianity because of the Bible, you know, because I, I, I could not accept that the Bible is, is from Allah, is from, from God. The, the, the God that I believed in <laughs> could not have authored this book. Now, the problem came when the Muslims were saying, we also believe in the Bible. You know, they seen it as a way of helping me to Islam, when in fact it was pushing me away because I was thinking, well, you just sound like a sect, some sort of sect of Christianity. Because I've, I've, I've finished with the Bible, okay? So we should be very careful when using this, you know, because you can actually push people away when you, when you present the wrong information or you say that we believe in the Bible. We don't believe in the Bible and we don't believe in the original Bible. The Bible is not, it's very specific in the Quran that this is the original revelation. This is what we believe in. And the name is the Injil, the Torah and the Zabor, okay? This is not the Bible. The Bible is a collection of different writings by different humans, different authors over time. So we should, we should understand this. So we mustn't confuse these words Injil to Gospel or Injil to Bible. You know, there's many, this often gets translated in the wrong way and causes so much confusion. I was actually speaking to one brother before, uh, just before we started, because I actually found Islam in West Africa in Sierra Leone. Now, Sierra Leone, 20 years ago, was actually a Muslim country, majority Muslim country. And in the past 20 years, they had a, they had a war for 10 years, and the 10 years after the war, there's it's been lack of uh, Islamic education. And half of the population has been lost to Christianity. And you know how the Christians do dawah? Do you know what they say? They go to the English translation of the Quran and they show the Muslims, look, your Quran says Psalms and Gospel. Here's the Bible. So, and obviously because the Muslims there, they have lack of the Arabic. They don't understand the Arabic. They don't know that it doesn't say Psalms and Gospel. It says the Bo and Injil. SubhanAllah. That this has actually led many people away uh, and, and, you know, through lack of understanding of this point. So it's very, it's very important that we do see the belief in the books as an important part of the Akida, an important part of the six articles of faith. Often, you know, this is one of the, 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 act, one of the main points which gets um, overlooked, or the importance of it actually gets overlooked. But actually people, uh, like in my case, where I didn't want to accept Islam because I was ex this point was explained to me in the wrong way, or people are actually, Christians are using this in the Dawah to actually, you know, people who don't have lack of understanding of this point are actually getting uh, confused by this point and some of them actually leaving Islam.